The first lawnmower race was in 1973 and we ran two the next year and three or four the next year and then we were trying to think of something a little bit special. Um, so we thought obviously of the 24 hour race like the Le Mans 20 sports car race or Daytona or whatever. But a 24 hour race takes too big a chunk out of the working week. week. So then we talked about six hours but 12 hours we finished with because you start in the, in daylight the end of a Saturday, go through the night uh, as close to midsummer as you get. So you have six hours, you have about three hours of daylight, six hours of darkness, and then about three hours of daylight. And it's a lovely balance and people have time to go home afterwards and go to work on Monday. Team, what's morale like? Fantastic! <laughs> well, there's your answer. It seems to be pretty high at the moment, probably because we've got ages to wait until we actually have to get on the mower and race it, so uh, we're just enjoying the peace and quiet. Whoa, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, hang on, let's just knock it down. <laughs> Yeah, you see on the bottom there, Mike, that yeah. fuel flow's dropped. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, uh, I've just got this FFT analyzer. It's got it hooked up, hooked up to the engine, and we're just looking, just monitoring the engine vibration. So, at the, at the moment, I've got a couple of concerns, but we're just going to run with it. The vibration's a little bit higher than what I'd really like to see. I think you have to have tactics, and you need to stick to a plan. And after so many hours, if you're ahead, then you can you can then modify your plan. But you, you do need to have a plan and try and stick to it. The weather at the moment is just scorchingly hot. It's, it's awful. You just have to be careful on the corners, really, if it's too dusty, so you can you know make sure there's nothing in the way. Uh, it's going to be a very fast race because it's not wet. Jason Fisher, and uh, I'm not entirely sure what the team name is. My name's Steve Richardson, and I'm racing uh, a 12-hour lawnmower race. We haven't done mower racing before, and. Uh, it looks like we're, you know, we're in at the deep end. We're straight into the race with no practice. So. <laughs> See, it's a really good sport. Loads of aggression, and uh, and we've been doing it a long time now. We just like to do it. We keep saying it's as last year, but here we are again. What was it? We're not racing to win because uh, we don't feel that the armour is as good as that. But we're hoping to go constantly for 12 hours and have a finish. I'm the Westwood lawn bug man myself, but uh, I had a chance to go on the tractor this year and I've taken it. La last weekend it was working perfectly, but of course you add the whole race to the mix and it doesn't work now. Considering this is really, you know, this is the first time it's, it's run in anger, so to speak. Um, and I, I, you know, I, I think we all feel pretty confident that we're going to really do well and we're going to get a good position. We've all got the same chance until that flag drops. It's quite fast on the, on the straight, but at the corners are just you're all over the place. This year we're having a bit of a change. I'm driving for the uh, Luxembourg team, Team Schmatt. We came second in class last year and I just don't think we're going to beat that this year. We can alter things as we go around. If we want to lean off the fuel as we go around or whatever we can do that. We can also alter the, the ride height of the uh, grass box just to give us a bit more downforce down the straight. I think it's just the excitement. Um, you're, from 8 o'clock this morning we've been absolutely flat out on this machine. Um, we haven't had a spare minute and it's just the, the team ship, you know, we're all together, all working for a single goal. You don't get that in a sprint meeting. Yeah, the clutch wasn't too good. That's um, still not too good, but it might work. Unless you've done it, it's very difficult to describe, but um, this is, I think, my 12th 12-hour uh, race. Um, I've won it. Um, it's just 
it's hard to describe, but all the passion of all the racing takes place in the 12 hour race. I think there's going to be quite a few accidents purely because the bumps tend to be mid corner rather, so you can go in fairly quickly. Uh, then you tend to hit bumps which can cause accidents if you're not used to how to handle it. You, know, the, you can easily be thrown skyward on your side, I'm afraid, so it's, uh, it's going to be fairly tricky, yeah. Sorry. I think we'll probably do um, about half an hour and we'll be busted again. We'll be out. I think it's mainly the endurance of the machine, to be honest. All we've got to do is just keep a nice steady pace and keep going. There's going to be a lot of engines blow up probably because of the length of the straights. Um, and just hope it all stays together, really. I, mean, I think there's probably two or three other good teams are at our level. So we know we're in with a chance. The opposition at the moment seems to be doing an awful lot of work on its mowers, uh, so we're not too worried about the majority of them. Um, the Tornado lads in the pit next door, uh, to be honest, they may be RAF fighter jocks, but I don't think they're going to be able to handle the speed out there. This is totally laid back and it's just such a good laugh for ourselves to do. Um, it's just so different from anything else. Um, as, you, as you can see by the guys behind me, the morale's really high and we just love doing this meeting.
good start actually. Um, got ahead into third place and then we kind of fell back a little bit. We got a puncher, so we lost a bit of time for that. But now we're back out there, we'll be all right. Steady as you go. It's bumpier than normal. Straights are all right, but as soon as you start going across the field, uh, it's, it's very bumpy already. One of the drivers had an accident. He hit the rear of another um, mower and flipped up. The mower did three somersaults and the driver dislocated his shoulder. Luckily, the, the um, ambulance crew have managed to put his shoulder back. He's now helping us repair it. We've had one or two little teething problems, uh, just little things like the throttle spring went, but uh, we've got a good team here, so we've got it all back together. It's great. very bumpy um, well it's unbelievable to be honest it's nice and dry now but very bumpy very hard on your bum the thing is this was a ploughed field and the plough runs from the top of the field to the bottom so the straights are okay but you have to cross over sometime so it's when you cross cross over the old plough that you get the bumpy bits we're going very steadily. We're, we're finding a lot in, in the same group as us are going a lot faster, but they're coming into the pits a lot more for, with damage. So we're just taking it steady. That's our strategy. Go for it. Yeah, superb. Nice and bumpy. That'll slow all the, everyone else down. We just keep going. We're down for two of us now, but we're going to keep going. At the end of the day, we've come an awful long way not to keep going now. The machine itself isn't performing as it, as it was, but we're, hey, we're going to keep going. Got to do. Well, being in a standard class, not terribly fast. But the mower's still going, and uh, we're not lost. Back, kidneys, neck, uh, shoulders, arms. Uh, in fact, there's very little that doesn't feel the pain after a short while. No, seriously, it's, it's the lower back that gets you when you're my age. That's why I just let the youngsters out and keep them out there a bit longer. Racing, uh, that's uh, Colin Clegg's mob, um, number, race number two, um, and followed by Mutt's Nuts. The great thing about this track is that they've got all the straights run with the plough line, and they've got some long straights to recover from the bumps. Yeah, okay, they're going across the bumps, but I mean, compared with some tracks we've had, this is this is pretty good. Um, yeah, um, I mean, they've raced on ploughed fields before now, so it's, it's not that bad. But it's uh, pretty bumpy and I think that's what caused it to break in the first place. Mower's built for absolute speed, tuned to perfection as you saw earlier. Drivers get very, very fatigued quickly. At this time of night, this is when the mistakes are being made. This is when drivers are starting to get sleepy, banging into other mowers, 
Um, forgetting where the track goes is often quite popular. And it's the same for us, but we've still got to be alert. Make sure these guys are all right. Four o'clock in the morning is their low ebb. But um, the way they're going, I don't think they are going to slow down or have a low ebb. I think it's uh, going to be flat out all the way. I think they're making up for the last couple of years. Uh, we're all a bit disappointed, but uh, it's broken again, but it was going really well. When it was going, it was going really well. But at least we can settle down with a nice glass of whiskey now. We're battling for second now. Steve's out and he's just past number four. So we're now one and a bit laps behind and he's pulling away about three seconds a lap. If we get a finish and I'm going to be quite happy with that. Apart from that then, it's been uh, highlights, finding that we did have a third driver, even if he did only do 40 minutes of driving. That was uh, quite high. And uh, just the fact that we're still out there really is a big thing, even with all our difficulties we've had throughout the race. The rear suspension linkage is totally snapped and it's all loose and wobbling about so we've just put a couple of ratchet tyres on there to firm it up to last us the last hour and a half and hopefully we're finished. Been a very good race, exhausting. Hard work. First time I've actually won it, and I'm very, you know, I'm pleased that I've actually won it. I'm one, you know, actually on my mara as well. I think we've just stayed consistent all the way through the night. We've we've done good lap times, all three of us, uh, and we've stayed as consistent lap times. So, yeah, I think we've had an excellent pit crew that's sorted it out. Oh, thank God! Oh, thank God! <laughs>